Hi, I'm Irving. Welcome to Captain Model, where short capes are all the rage this year. And now, back to Shazam! Billy and Mentor are traveling along doing their thing, but Mentor seems a little down. You're uh, still sort of flipped out about the TV last night, aren't you, Mentor? Well, you said I could watch what I wanted to watch. It's not my fault they scheduled a documentary opposite the baseball game. So Billy watched baseball when Mentor wanted the documentary, and Mentor is still sulking about it. Hey, I'll tell you what. Tonight we'll both watch what you want to watch. Good. There's a double header tonight that should be sensational. <laughs> no, the other way around. That was a nice touch. Just don't tell my network I watched a rival channel. <laughs> That's the first time we've done something like that, and I love it. I've noticed that every so often we get a little tidbit like that just for us pseudo-adults in the audience. As quick as it's there, it's gone, and he's on to another topic, said topic being a call from the elders. As the valiant Achilles had his vulnerable spot, so too, Billy, you will be found to have a vulnerable spot. And one can be vulnerable in matters of the mind as well as in matters of the flesh, Billy. Tell me just once exactly what you're talking about. Does he really think that's going to happen? Has he not been paying attention? Though a man escape every danger, he can never wholly escape those who do not want him to exist. Farewell, Billy. After that little interlude, we meet the star of today's episode. Well, this station's going to be a little bit easier to get into than the last one. Don't joke about that, Jackie. It's over now. I only wish it was. I robbed a gas station and I went to reform school for it. People aren't going to let me forget that. She points out that Mr. Spencer, the owner of this station, gave him a job and even entrusted him with the key. So some people, at least, are willing to give him a second chance. Hello, Jackie. Mr. Samuels, uh... The station was robbed last night, Jackie, by someone with a key. There was no sign of forced entry. That's Mr. Samuels, Jackie's probation officer, and he really thinks Jackie is stupid enough to do something like this. He hasn't gotten to know his client very well. See what I mean, Millie? Come on. On the other hand, Jackie is stupid enough to do that. after that kid. Billy hops out and goes after Jackie along with everybody else, but he's closer so he gets there first. What's going on me, man? I gotta find him. Well, find who? What's this all about? Now that Billy stopped him, everybody converges on Jackie. Why are you running away? Jackie, I'm afraid we're going to have to take you in for questioning. It might not have been necessary if you hadn't run like that. And you tripped and fell twice while you were running, so you didn't even do a good job of it. They think he robbed a gas station just because he was put away for robbing one before. Millie! Vinny! Now, Millie! That's Vinny, Millie's older brother. He's a local thug who travels with some muscle and he likes to run her life. In particular, he wants her to stay away from Jackie. And the way she submits to him, you get the feeling he's not above using force. Hey, listen, man, you don't have a... Hey, hey. Dig the big hero. He must do a lot of reading about those knights doing in dragons and all that. Well, my book, hero, the dragon cops the prize. You dig? Mentor wouldn't let Billy mix it up because there are three of them and one of Billy. You're not Captain Marvel, you know. We're really having some fun this episode. This is part one of a two-part season finale, so we're pulling out some stops. Melly said Vinny hangs out around here. Now that the police have released Jackie, I got a funny feeling he'll come looking for Vinny. It seems we have a reception committee. What is this, West Side Story? Vinny has a gang, Jackie has a gang, and they're fighting because Jackie fell in love with Maria. I mean, Melly. Jackie appears. All right, let's have it. Who are you? A friend, Jackie. Sure, that's why you held me for the cops. Let's put it this way. We're not enemies. Look, the last time we spoke, you said something about finding him. Who? 
whoever's trying to frame me, that's who. So you don't know who it is, you don't know where they are, but you took off running to look for them instead of staying put and then trying to enlist the help of the police. Good plan. Vinny appears and says he wants to talk. So talk. Stay away from my sister. That's Melly's business, my business. Anything you do, Jailbird, is everybody's business. Just stay away. Jackie's really intimidated. You can tell by the way he shies away from that stick. Vinny's pretty pleased with himself. I poked him with the stick. Did you see that? I poked him with the stick. <laughs> yeah, well, I just know Jackie's innocent. Yeah, that's what he says. Well, I, I really feel for him. He has to fight against people that won't let him forget his past. And I like him. You like him, so you refuse to believe that he might be guilty. Now, that's not much difference from the people who don't like him because of his past, who refuse to believe that he might be innocent. Billy realizes that's his vulnerability, going on emotion rather than on the facts. As usual, life is all about balance. Armed with his new understanding, Billy seeks out Jackie. Did you do it? No way. He had a key. Look, I'm just stating a fact, man, that's all. You always leave your stuff lying around when you're playing basketball. Yeah. So? Who else comes here? Everybody. Including Vinny. Please explain to me why he wasn't everybody's prime suspect from the word go. He went out of his way to make it as obvious as possible. You can't tell me not to see Jackie, Vinny. Pretty soon I'm not going to have to tell you anything. He won't be around. Vinny, you framed him. That's right, little sister, right on. And this time I'm going to make it stick. <laughs> Stan Lee cameo. Oh, wait, that's Mentor. And Captain Marvel is DC. What were we talking about? Billy, we've got to talk to you about Vinny. You don't understand, Billy. Vinny's my brother. And... He's your brother, but Jackie's innocent. And I think it's reached the point where you've got to make a choice, Melly, between loyalty to your brother or to Jackie. And since she knows her brother was the one who committed the actual criminal act, she knows what that choice has to be but it won't be easy. Well, what do you know? Big Hero found himself in Princess to Rescue. Hey, wait a minute, fellas. That ain't no princess. Now that's my sister. Leave me alone, Vinny. Billy and Mentor gather Melly and run for it. Take her through there. When Vinny catches up, there's a surprise waiting for him. I tell the truth, Vinny. What book did you ever read where the dragon beats the knight? Captain Marvel. Hey, uh, look, man, you and me, we ain't got no beef. Let's hope it stays that way. You dig? They never stop to wonder how Captain Marvel knows so much about Billy's conversations. The word's out. Vinny's looking for a fight. Let him look. Melly, I've been thinking. Ever since I got out in the street, well, I've sort of been letting the scene roll all over me. Instead of trying to prove that I belong in the scene. Well, go to the cops. I'll tell them Vinny admitted everything. Melly, you do your thing, but I gotta do mine. Does he really think Vinny is brave enough to face him one-on-one -on -one in a stand-up fight? Vinny's the biggest coward in town. Why do you think he always has those two brown nosers with him? Why do you think he swaggers like that? The main person he's trying to convince is himself. So no, Jackie, he's not looking to fight you. He's looking to set his gang on you. Billy goes after Jackie, Melly runs to get the police, and Mentor stands there wondering what he should do. Ultimately, he picks Billy up and they go searching. I'm not sure what his goal is here. His best bet would be to steal the groceries and then go after Vinny when he's hungry. He watches Vinny go in a big door, then follows. Meanwhile, Billy decides he can search more effectively as Captain Marvel. Yeah. 
I have to wonder why he goes so high up to fly across town. Wouldn't he be able to see better without all those clouds in the way? I told you Vinny wouldn't give him a fair fight. He has something else planned for Jackie. Hey, Jailbird. Catch! Hey, this is Mr. Spencer's cash box. That's right. Now it's got your fingerprints on it. Look, fire! I don't think the fire was part of the plan, but he'll take it. Holy moly. Get the door! Because Vinny isn't above murder. But Captain Marvel saw all that even through the clouds, and he's on his way. In a hurry, Vinny? Hey, 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 man, we, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Hey, but that guy that robbed the gas stations in there right now, uh, burning the evidence. Along with himself, of course. Isn't that how everybody does it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Your sister has had enough of your bullying, Vinny. She done ratted you out. Okay, take it easy, Jackie. Hang on. Thanks to Captain Marvel, Vinny's only going away for attempted murder. Vinny should thank him. Jackie is back working at the station and Vinny is in jail, so all is well. Mentor is gassing up and getting ready to leave town when Mr. Samuels pulls in. What's the word on Vinny? I don't think he'll be around for a while. But the guys in Vinny's neighborhood, they're making all sorts of noises. Landing trouble? Could be. It'd be nice to know Captain Marvel will be around, just in case. Hint, hint. You know, just in case you happen to know how to get hold of him, maybe there should be a way for us to call on him if we need him. Hint, hint. Maybe we ought to spend some more time in this area, Billy. Oh, you're thinking the same thing I am. There may be more trouble. Mm -hmm. Good thing they'd only gone about 112 miles before that occurred to them. From there, we're back to arguing about TV tonight. Mentor wants baseball, Billy wants a movie. I am an adult. You are a youth. In matters of home management, and this is our home, the lead adult makes the decisions. Baseball. Shazam! Movie. <laughs> the way these two play off each other is one of the best parts of this show. As they turn around, the announcer tells us not to miss part two. Once again, this show is demonstrating some boldness. We went from a kid in a lion cage to major crime and attempted murder. We have an abused woman, an impending gang war, a guy on probation. Nothing is off limits to this show. We're showing kids that there's a lot of ugliness out there and showing them ways to overcome that ugliness with kindness, integrity, and selflessness. I've said it a few times already, but it bears repeating. This show respects its audience. We'll wrap up this story in the first season next time on Captain Model, you dig? <laughs>